Hello and welcome to this Affinity software tutorial. We're going to be looking at Affinity Designer, Photo and Publisher. And it's about adding an outline specifically to text, but you could add it to sort of images and things that you've drawn. But I'm going to stick with looking at text. Um, I'm going to do most of the heavy lifting in Designer, but it will work pretty much the same in publisher and to a certain extent photo and so let's get on I've just done this um, I've done it in Times New Roman doesn't really matter what font I'd use really but I'm going to use this font here and let me just duplicate this a couple of times and I'm going to work on the top one so if you wanted a sort of an outline, you would sort of go with a stroke. that's called the stroke, um, which currently, if we look at the colours here at the top here, you've got the two colours, and currently I've got the actual font colour, which is set to black, and the stroke colour, which is also set to black. So to help us see what's going to go on, I'm going to change the stroke colour. So if I click on this background circle here and it will bring it to the front I can, I'm going to change the color to red just so we can see it when we come to this so I'm going to come to stroke and what we're going to do then is change the width of that stroke so if I just move this up you'll start to see the red show now the problem here is let me drop this back down as you got the tops of the W's and the U here are sort of some nice thick letters and even like the the sharp corners of the V's and what have you here and as you increase this stroke as you can see that letter is the tops of the um, letters here are becoming less visible and if you can take it too far I mean that black font is totally disappeared so it's all well and good if you just want a little bit of stroke so like that and you can just about see it and the letters pretty much stay the same but by default you've got the it's got the order button here and by default the draw stroke is in the front so if you click on the one next to it the draw stroke will be at the back so now when you raise this up the actual lettering stays the exact same size it should be so those tops of those letters the black area is not being lost and the stroke will just get bigger and bigger but the letter will stay as it should do so you've got to remember to change the order from the default which is um, the draw stroke is in the front to draw stroke in the back so that is looking at the stroke option so let me come down to return this layer off and we'll come to this one here now this one I want to look at doing a similar sort of thing but using the effects tab now you got the effects tab here and one of the options of the many options that you've got here is outside shadow so if I put a tick into the outside shadow and by default I think it's closed and you can just click on that arrow to drop down the options and there we have the color so let me change the color again to that red and then we can just increase the radius of that stroke and Let's increase the opacity and as you can see it is there but it is very faint now this is because there's, sort of, there's no real intensity now if you look at the tools or the options in this tool there is no sort of intensity now there is another way to access effects and that is on the layers tab you've got the FX logo down here or if you're using the effects tab 
you've got this little cog up here and if you click on that it will open up the other way to get to effects and on the outer shadow in this box you have an intensity slider but it's not in this version of the tool quite why they can't put the same options in both I don't understand but so I'm going to increase the intensity if you go too far you're going to get pixelated edges but I'm just going to bring it down to about 68% let me move this off screen again so it's not as clear and as sharp as using the other method which I did before because you have sort of blurred edges but that's because it is like a shadow um, but it does give you a different version of doing an outline around text so let's come back to this one here and I will shut that down let me shut this as well and I'm going to work on this layer here now again I'm going to be looking at the effects on this one and this one isn't really to look at outlining text it is sort of something that has come about by something I saw in one of the Facebook groups I'm in and also in the practicing for this particular video is that when you're using effects let me come to this one here so we've got the effects tab again outer shadow and so let me increase the radius and this time I'm going to alter the offset which is how far that shadow is away from the main text so let me again open up this other version of the tool and I'm going to increase the intensity just so you can see that a bit better all right let me just move it out of the way so you have the intensity and up and so you can see the shadow behind and using this angle you can move that around but you sort of can only sort of move it I mean you can move it around the top layer but you you're not really going that far away from the top layer I mean, let's say you wanted the shadow to be down here. Well, this is something that is not available on this version of the effects tab, but it is available on this version of the effects tab, and that is this offset tool button. So if I click on that button there, when I bring the cursor into the thing, as you can see, the arrow has got two little squares behind it. Well, now if I click and drag I can move the shadow the main text stays where it is but I can put that shadow you know right away almost going off the page and you can have it wherever you want you know as far as you can move it so quite why the offset tool button isn't available on this version of the effects tab and quite why the intensity slider is not invert included on this version of the effects tab I don't know so it's a case of if you want the best out of the outer shadow effects you may need to have both versions open and I would imagine it's pretty much the same with possibly all the other effects there may be some say inner glow there might be some controls on the inner glow on this version that aren't available or are available on this version of the inner glow in this case of trial and error and see what works so basically that is the end of looking at this in designer I just want to have a quick look at trying to do a similar thing in photo now photo has slightly different problems let me just duplicate this layer at least once see again the effects tab outer shadow got the offset tool hasn't got the intensity slider but if I open up the other version of the effects tab out of shadow has got the intensity slider doesn't have the offset tool button close that down 
come back to the layer. Now, when it comes to doing the stroke, there is no stroke tab, and it's not available if you come to View Studio. There is no stroke tab even available in photo. You need to get the stroke a different way and to do that you need to come to the character tab. You click on that to open up the character tab and by default this would have been blank like that saying that there is no color and you'd have and you have to sort of highlight the text and then click in this box here to pick your color so I'm going to again I'm going to go for red and then you can increase the stroke and you have the stroke behind the stroke behind option in here so as you can see you can do the same thing in photo but you have to do it via the character tab rather than via a stroke tab so that is how that is available in Affinity Photo and we come to Publisher now Publisher does have a stroke tab so you can do it like Designer but by default there is no effects tab but it is available you can come to view studio and effects and it will open up that effects tab there so you like I said you could click on outer shadow where you've got the offset tool available no intensity but if you open up the other version of the outer shadow you've got intensity but you don't have the offset tool so uh, putting the outline around the text or moving the shadow away from the text a lot further than you can sort of in a default way can be done in all three versions of Affinity software and the only slight difference is photo where you have to go via the character tab rather than the stroke tab um, it'd be nice if we put the stroke tab into photo and also if you have publisher obviously you can and all three products and you have publisher you can into sort of jump between programs or even if you have just a photo and designer you can jump between those two programs and edit that way so hopefully I haven't sort of gone on too much and hopefully I've made it all understandable and uh, thank you for watching and goodbye